When I was in middle school, there weren't many books that reflected my life experience. In fact, the first one that I remember is The Baseball Life of Willie Mays. And that wasn't even a fiction book. It was nonfiction. It dealt with Willie Mays, the baseball player's uh, life in the army, his life in, uh, in terms of how he battled uh, against racism and how he uh, grew up as a young man. Uh, I really liked it because I was into baseball at the time because it was very similar to cricket, which is what I had learned when I was in Jamaica uh, before I came to the States. And when I think more about this issue, I actually um, went and spoke with my oldest daughter, who is much wiser than I am. And she said her teacher in high school uh, broke it down to her like this. There are books that are mirrors and there are books that are windows. Windows um, are books where you look out and you experience other people's life experience. Mirrors are books where you reflect on your own, you know, books that reflect your own life experience. And I think this is a key issue because when you're a teenager, it's exactly the time you need a mirror because you need to reflect on your life to figure out who you are, who you want to be, what kind of job you want to have, what kind of career. And, you know, you really need the mirror. So I applaud today all publishers, editors, agents, etc., who push diverse books, and not just for African Americans, Caribbean uh, Americans, but for all peoples, because all people should have books that reflect their experiences, especially young people, because again, it's a time when they're making these huge life choices. Mm -hmm.